Uh, hello everyone. We'll start working our lecture today. Uh, we will continue with the second part of the lecture, which is modeling cantilever beam using plane stress element. With the same beam we did, the length of that beam is 1,200 millimeter. The dimension R is 100 by 550, and we have applied load by 10 kilonewton. Now we will model it as a plane stress. So A, B, C, D will be a plane stress. So basically, we will do a plane stress and we create a thickness of 50 millimeter. The in this element, the type, the name of the element we will use is CPS for 8R, and we will use we will find a result of deflection bending stress and the shear stress of that beam the bending will be along the edge AB also the bending stress along AB and the shear stress along EF we will do that for one element two elements, four elements, eight elements, and sixteen elements. We need to validate our result using theoretical calculation. As we start, we we'll go to Abacus. We will wait for the program to launch. We will go to use the standard explicit. Before we carry on, we need to create a folder, and we did to create the folder before and see. Assume the folder we created was sorry, indeed, let's say, and the folder was Abacus, as we wrote it somewhere here. That's Abacus, that's a folder we I created already, so you create similar folder call it abacus and then you come back here and you go to file set directory you need to set the directory you open you go to D drive and then you click on abacus the folder you created and then ok and then ok now let's start what are the coordinates of this plane stress? It's a start zero zero and eight by and the second of coordinate is one thousand two hundred by one hundred. So again we go to part and then we go to create part. Let's call it as a beam. We will do two planar and a shell and continue. Then you go into create line rectangle for lines. So rectangle. You click. We'll ask you about the coordinate. The first coordinate as we see is zero zero. The second coordinate of the rectangle is one thousand two hundred one hundred. So we write down zero 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 comma zero. And then you write down one thousand two hundred comma. 100 enter now we go to here which is auto fit when you click it you show everything now we create this rectangle what we have to do is to cancel you cancel procedure and then what you have to do and then you say done you finish then you go to the property you need to create a material property you go to here material manager you go to create let's call the material steel material and then the mechanical is elasticity 
and elastic. The material elasticity for steel is 200. For this pro problem is, as we said, is 200 kilonewton per millimeter square, but we need to convert it to newton per millimeter. So Abacus will use newton and millimeter. So now we write it 200,000 and pass the rate in 0 0.25 and then done. Let's dismiss that we create the material. Now you go to section section manager. You click on section manager and then you create and in a section manager let's call it a beam section a beam section the category is a solid and the type are homogeneous we use solid because it's a solid at the end we are not using a shell element we use a solid element but in 2D solid element and the homogeneous material and then we continue well, the material is the same material we created, but the plane stress thickness, if you go to here, if you are drawing A, B, C, D, the thickness in the perpendicular direction should be 50 millimeter. So you need to write down 50. And then you said, okay. And you dismiss to finish. Now you create material, you assign section, you create a section, you need to to assign that section into that element so you click on the assign section and you go to create will ask you which one do you want to collect as a section you click on this section and say done you need to find out you will find out it's a beam element section that we created and you, you keep the assignment as it is and you said okay you see that change of the color and you dismiss now you finished. Before we carry on, let's save from this and to save a model, we will say it's a beam, it's a plan, it's a plan stress element. Okay, so we call it a plan stress element, and it's a CAE model, <coughs> and then we save it. After that, we will go to assembly. You notice that the beam disappeared. What you created before was the part. The part was created. Now, when you go to assembly, you click on the create instance. That part you created was a beam, and I, uh, I, will, uh, I will tell you that uh, more very important to use independent. You can use dependent, but you have to mesh your model on part. Independent, you mesh it in instance, and you said okay. In this way, you bring to here that your uh, you bring here actually the model. Now you go to step. A step a very important thing. It's a it's a step of for the loading. Without a step, you cannot create. You cannot proceed for the loading. So you go to the step manager you create a step and let's call it loading step it's just a name we created a static general and then continue we keep the default as it is because we are doing a linear elasticity and it's okay and let's dismiss and then you go to we don't have any kind of interaction we can go to loading directly in the loading we need to think about what is the load the load is applied here the boundary condition applied there the load is applied here we will presume that the load is applied as a distributed over the surface BFHC so the value of the load is, is 10 kilonewton converted to newton will be 10,000 newton divided by this area will give you subtraction 10,000 over 
over 50,000 which is the area 5,000 will give you 2 megapascal or 2 newton per millimeter squared as a traction so we this is not we will assume it is not a point load as a traction over the surface so now you go to loading you go load manager and you need to create under loading now what you have to do we're gonna use a surface traction a surface traction what is a surface traction is the surface traction on this sphere and then you continue to ask you what is the surface you click on this surface and you said done well what well, the surface direction is a shear anyway it's a shear direction and the value is minus two because it has to be opposite to the y direction and to confirm actually we could confirm it from that and you can ask you what is the vector before projection what we can let's check that actually let's check so we click in order to define the point the direction of the vector it is going to be a vector which direction should be is it horizontal or vertical you click there you click this point you click that point and then you said okay ah we have a mistake here the load goes up so double click again so we'll do two track two megapascal simply because we create this this vector goes down so will two will be going down so we make sure that is going down so again it is two and the vector from this point to this point goes down now we create the load let's think about the, in the surface here which is that uh, the boundary condition you go to here you go to boundary condition manager you click and you go to create and then you call it boundary condition you choose the second option and you continue will you ask where do you want to put the boundary I will put the boundary onto this surface and then done oh, as a fixed boundary condition so everything will be zero value and then it's okay and dismiss it save it after that you go to mesh now since we are doing only one element so we will go to the seed edge we'll ask you which edge you want to seed think about you have only one element therefore only one element in this in this edge and this, this edge and one element in this edge and this edge therefore we click here and we in your keyboard you need to click anywhere this line and this line so in your keyboard you click this line and then you press in your keyboard the key shift and you click on this line again in this situation you multi you multi choice you multi uh, choice of the different lines and then you and you said done and then you go to number I don't want to four number I need one element and you said okay now before you go done you create only one element this side and you need elements this side also so you make one element you click here and you click shift shift and then you click on this element this edge this way you can uh, this way you click you 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 uh, choose two elements at the same time and then you say done you choose one element and okay now you say done finish now you go to your mesh, uh, mesh part instance and you click it and you said okay for the mesh now the most important thing you don't forget the assign element type you click on assign element type 
then you click on the beam and you said done now what you have to do as ask you I ask you to have CPS 8R which is 8 noted quadratic plane stress uh, reduce integration I said okay don't forget to be ticked this is reduced integration it has to be ticked here that's the element I told you to use and then okay that was done you go back now you go to ma uh, job you go into job manager create and you said one element one element then continue and then okay and submit the job that's done now we get the result in the result let's uh, find the deform shape that is your deform shape now what I want I want actually the the question is to find the deflection so let's go here let's go to deflection and to U2 again we didn't gonna create a path but by the way this path use for deflection and the uh, bending stress we go to uh, tools path manager create node list continue and uh, before for that we don't I don't know yeah uh, add after and then you click the node 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 from left to right and then done and then okay now what do you need you need you to you go to tools xy data manager and then create you go to path so you continue now this is your path you choose undeformed shape you should x distance make sure this is you too and then save as and OK. Now you double click, which will give you this uh, displacement at zero distance, 600 and 1200. You go and fill up this table for displacement. This here and this here, this here. Now, for that, you close it. And now, for if you want, for the same path, for the same path, you need to have the bending stress. That is a bending stress. You have to do the bending stress along AB. Now, you can do that by go to field output and you go into stress component. The component in the bending stress in S11. There's a bending stress S11, and you said okay. So that you change it from U to S11, and you go save as as the same path. I said okay. By double click, it will give you what is the bending stress over zero distance 600 and 1200, and you fill it up here. Sorry, fill it up here. Now you close. Now, what do you want also? I need the shear stress over EF. EF here. So now you need to create a new path. A new path, continue, and select after. You need it over here, into here, and then done. And that's okay. You've got a new path. 
you go to the XY data you need to choose path 2 I need to change from S11 to S you go here to S12 at the shear stress that's your shear stress notice this will be changed here save as and ok you double click it will give you uh, yeah I think we made a mistake so yeah in path 2 choose y distance not x distance y distance y direction and then save as and then okay you double click that you give you the y distance okay you fill it up in this table here here and there now you can delete everything you go to xy data delete everything delete close close delete to a new model by mesh more number of mesh which is basically which is basically using two elements now this two elements so this is edge and this is are divided into two pieces and one piece here you go again to mesh you go eat edge click here you press on shift click here and then done choose two elements and then ok it will ask you to delete the previous mesh you said ok and you click on this edge shift this edge then ok you make sure number of elements is one ok and done and then you press on mesh part instance and then OK you created two elements and you back into here into job you create two elements and then continue and then OK and submit Then result. That's it. Uh, the form, uh, the form shape. You go to. You need deflection on the top surface. You go to here to you, and then you want you to, and then you go to tools to create a path, path manager. And then create path one, continue, and choose after I advise you because you don't see maybe the nodes you click on common option you go to label node label okay now you see the nodes you need a node on the here not here not here not here and not there and then okay and then okay you go to tools xy data manager you go to create keep this path continue now undeformed x distance path 1 x distance because we are taking the distance we taking the deflection over the, x, the links and save as and ok by double click you must use this data to fill up the table for two elements okay now you change you want the bending stress over the top uh, surface so you go to field output you change it from here you go to s and then you use s11 at the bending stress and then okay that is changed and then you go to save as and okay i double click 
you will end up with a bending stress you must fill the table with these values now I need a shear stress over this edge here so you go to here to create a path now you call create path to continue and click after you click here you click here you click here and then done and you ok now what you need you need is one two other shear stress and the path is path two for the shear stress and you need to have wide distance because the surface and wide distance and then you set save as and ok you will find it in xy data manager and double click you will end up with a value of the shear stress over the height of the beam you recall this in your table then ok so let's delete everything now to start a new another model you close close delete close and to go to mesh to do actually four elements back you go to here you click here key shift click here done and you do four divisions then ok and you delete meshes and then done and then click here and yes you will have four element now you go again to job you create so four elements continue ok and submit Now it is completed and then OK I get results. Now that is show the deformed shape by clicking on plot contour you go to tools now you need U U2 you go to tools path manager create continue after click here click here 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 and done and ok now you go to tools xy data manager create click on path continue this is path 1 deform choose xy x distance and make sure this is your U2 and then save as and double click pick up these values and put it on your table now done now here you need now the shear the, the bending stress you go to field output you click on S and S11 and then OK and you go again save as double click as is a bending stress and you record it in your table ok now you want a shear stress over this uh, surface you go to create path click here create another path you continue after you click here you click here you click here and then you go here you done and you ok you go to here it change into path to make sure that you want actually the shear stress UI distance and you go save as and ok that is your shear stress over that path you record it on your table now close we finished 
for this model you now create uh, delete everything delete delete and you create a new model what you have to do you need now eight elements so you have on that edge four division in this edge you have two divisions now you go here you go into mesh now we have four divisions that's okay now you need you click on the seed edge you click here key shift click here and done you do two divisions of the edge and okay delete mesh and okay now you go and mesh part in instance and you said okay now you've got eight elements you go to job create eight elements and then continue and then okay and you submit the job Then results, you go to here, and then you go to do, and then you two. You want the displacement over that edge, you go tools, path, manager, create, node, continue, add after, click here, click here, click here click here click 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 and then done and ok you go to tools xy data manager create keep path continue and deform use uh, xy distance and then save double click that's deflection you record a new table now you want to bending stress over that surface you click in the field output change us s11 okay now you save as okay you double click here you get the bending stress over the surface here then okay you want now the shear stress over that surface you create a new path and then continue and add after click here click here and then done and ok you create now xy from path you go to path 2 y distance you change from S11 to S12 at the shear stress and then save as and ok by double click I will give you the value of the shear stresses you record it now just delete everything last one I will do 16 elements so you have 4 pieces divisions and four division in the vertical and horizontal direction so you go to here you go to mesh we've got already four in the top and bottom surface and the right hand and the left hand we'll done four divisions okay and delete mesh and then done we will go to mesh part instance and then okay now you go back you go to shape job but here 16 elements and then continue and ok and submit
it completed result now deflection soil shape again you want you you to go tools xy data sorry tools path manager create continue add after be careful you want only a specific node and then done and then ok we go to tools xy data manager create pass continue path 1 x distance make sure this is u2 save as ok double click you get the displacement and you move to your table and then what you want s11 so go to field output s s11 ok and save as and ok double click you will have the bending stress and you put it in your table and then ok you go to path again to create a shear stress by the way you can zoom in by uh, screw screw your uh, mouse wells so you can screw screw try to screw well, mouse wells well mouse well so you will kind of screw it how uh, you can zoom so let's zoom in to pick up this line so that's uh, zoom out so let's zoom in now we create path continue add after you click here and done and ok you change to pass to you fill the output you change it to S12 Y distance save as and ok let's double click that you she stress you added in your table now we finish so we can now delete save and then we finish this tutorial try to do this step by step using this video or use a note given thank you for listening goodbye